as an 18 and 17 year old you don't know how to deal with you know your mom not loving you or not being there for you and it's just really hard. I did jump around from different foster homes to foster homes. I would lose my friends or like I would lose out on sports and ended up like when I was 17 I just ended up uh, aging out in Child Haven because I wasn't really in a foster home and then you know I graduated high school and went on to like my own apartment and other programs to help with like aged out youth. The stigma is like once you turn 21, 18, like nobody's there for you anymore. Like you don't have anybody, but like those people who still stay in your life, regardless of that connection with foster care or anything like that, those are the most important people. So Step Up provides to aged out of foster care young adults um, case management services. We're really here to help the young adults transition from aging out of foster care to, you know, 21. When you think about like maybe the education system, so going to post-secondary school, how do I fill out the FAFSA? The last two years I've been going to college and like I'm almost ready to graduate and I think that that's a huge goal and I want to work with kids that are also like in the system. Making money, like how do I build a resume, getting a job, employment, finding affordable housing is definitely a challenge as well. The monthly uh, rent assistance that they do is just, it's so such a big help if it wasn't for that I would have probably ended up homeless after you know getting uh, aging out and I think that the ones that are usually successful usually have some sort of support system to kind of help them get through the next three years and, and probably even after um, they leave the step-up program if I could really say for any foster parent or anyone trying to be a foster parent, if you have children, what would you do with your own children? And putting that into some sort of perspective. Anytime I get new kids, I usually let them buy whatever groceries they want at the grocery store. So we all go together, they can uh, put whatever they want in the cart. And then I can also come up with recipes and um, I try and get them to cook as much as I can. So like even, um, even the little kids uh, can make scrambled eggs. Um, I think those are definitely vital lessons that our young adults could utilize, um, you know, before they even age out. If there's anybody that is trying to become a foster parent to a teen, um, I would just tell them to be patient um, and be persistent and, you know, understanding that they're not just dealing with having to, um, you know, move into a new home and get used to like this stranger, but they're also dealing with the fact that they got separated from their parents and the trauma that, you know, that led them to be into foster care. We have a lot of youth who need safe, secure, supporting, loving homes. And I can say, I know it's not easy. It's not easy but you're surrounded by support when you take on the task of being a foster parent. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to say, hey, I need support. Um, I think that's one of the things, communicate if you're struggling with one of your foster young adults, but don't just throw in the towel. If people can change, like it could take one talk or one just hug or something, like in order for you to tell somebody that you care about them, because a lot of times, People just have never had anybody say, oh, I'm proud of you, oh, I care about you, and those words can go a long way. You know, somebody just giving you one chance can change your life.